Names and formulas of compounds. Ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are composed of positive and negative ions. For example, sodium chloride is composed of sodium and chloride ions. They form a regular lattice pattern when a solid is produced. And basically what's happening here is that we have sodium ions alternating with chloride ions forming this very regular pattern. And what that translates into in a solid is something with a very regular shape. In this case, a cubic sodium chloride salt crystal. Naming ionic compounds. The rules for naming ionic compounds are pretty straightforward. The metal ion, or cation, that is the positive ion, is written first. The non-metal ion, or anion, that is the negative ion, is written second. And the non-metal ion ends in IDE. So we would write something like sodium chloride. as you saw in the previous example. Sodium is positive, the chloride ion is negative. What is the name for each of the following ions? Calcium nitride, lithium nitride, magnesium bromide, silver oxide, calcium phosphide. Try the practice problems on page 187. Writing formulas for ionic compounds. Steps for writing a formula. Identify the chemical symbol and charge for each ion. Balance the positive and negative charges of each ion. Note the ratio of positive to negative ions, and then use subscripts to write the chemical formula in reduced form. Let's look at an example. Magnesium phosphide. The first thing you need to do is look up both magnesium and phosphorus in the periodic table and write down their ion charges. Magnesium 2 plus and phosphorus, or the phosphide ion, P3 minus. Next, we need to balance the charges. And by balancing the charges, we mean we need to get the same number of positive charges as negative charges. And the easiest way to do this is to look for a common multiple of the ion charges. The common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So we, need, we know we need to get 6 positively charged ions, and we need to get 6 negative charges. The only way to do that is to get three magnesiums and two phosphide ions to give us a net charge of zero. Take note of the ratio, three magnesium ions for every two phosphide ions. Write the formula based on this ratio, three magnesium for every two phosphide. The formula is Mg3P2. Another example, calcium oxide. Once again we look at the periodic table and we find that the ion charge for calcium is 2 plus. The ion charge for oxygen, now the oxide ion, is 2 minus. These are easy to balance out because they have the same value of the ion charge. So basically we want plus 2 from one calcium ion and minus 2 for the oxide ion to give us a net charge of 0. They cancel each other out. Note the ratio. that We have one calcium for every one oxygen, and this is incorrect, we actually end up with a formula CaO.
calcium oxide. Ionic compound subscripts show the smallest whole number ratio between the ions in the compound. Try the practice problems on page 188.